let's have an example of an intrusion detection system that is well known that is very commonly used in the cyber security which is snort snort is low cost is lightweight intrusion detection system it is suitable for mul for monitoring multiple sites and multiple sensors for the IDS it is that's why it is common it is very popular it is very uh, educational as well and used for the training purposes it has low false alarm rate uh, the, most of the alarms are true either positive or negative and that is always the dream of the security specialist to have low false alarm rate it has low effort for reporting it is easily can report and generate alerts and can generate different formats of alerts that can be reported to the security specialist responsible for the IDS in many ways and easily and in a friendly way in the way he wants and at the time he wants let's have a look at this snort capturing it is it can it looks like to a great extent the capturing of a sniffer but we have here RPC info query that is written between two asterisks which means that this is a text written by the administrator to identify for himself what is this capturing telling we have here the timestamp at the left and then the source IP address 211.72.115.100 and the port number the source port number is 623 then an arrow then the destination IP address or the destination domain name z.y.w.98 then the destination port number is 111 we have the TCP protocol that sends this packet we have the TTL value that is 46 the type of service value the ID value that is used for fragmentation and the flag don't fragment is set we have the ACK flag set and the win flag is set and we have the sequence number written in hexadecimal we have some of the TCP options of the TCP fields of options that are written here and stated and mentioned here their values in hexadecimal so we have some good information about this packet that can be investigated and can be examined either to generate an alert or to let this traffic pass as something that is event of no interest I mean so this is a an example or a sample of what can snort capture let's here configure some snort rule and some basic snort rule let's say that the rule says alert me send me an alert if traffic is sent by the TCP protocol from any source IP and any source port number but for the destination IP address 192 168.1.0 slash 24 which means that the whole sub network of this net ID and the port number destination port number is 80 and show on the screen a message that says inbound HTTP traffic this is a rule that says that you you as IDS should generate an alert if you find a traffic matching this condition what could happen the output is at the bottom so we can say the message is here inbound HTTP traffic is displayed and we can see here the timestamp the date is 9 February for example and the timestamp is generated and the source IP is matching the source IP in the rule which he says any so anything is matching and the station IP is matching the station IP in the rule the station port number is 80 so exactly as the rule the protocol is TCP so this is matching our rule the TTL value the, the type of service value the identification and other values in this packet so here we have a successful alert that matches the rule being uh, configured by the security administrator so the output tells some information about the packet that has been captured by the snort rule and shows that you have an alert here you told me you as the security administrator told me as an IDS to capture such packet with such rules and here you have this alert on the screen let's have another example with advanced snort rule alert TCP any any which means that alert me 
if a protocol if an a packet is captured by the tcp protocol that was crafted by the tcp protocol with any source ip and any source port but the destination ip or the station network is 192.168.1.1.0 slash 24 and the destination port number is 80 but here we are examining the content the content must contain the word cgi bin slash test dot cgi the message to be displayed is attempted cgi bin access this is the message that will be displayed on the screen when such packet is captured let's see the output at the bottom the output displays the message attempted cgi bin access and two exclamation marks and then let's see that the source ip source port number destination ip destination port number all are matching the rule configured on on snort so this is a successful also rule that our successful alert that has been generated according to the rule and here we can say the message that displayed on the screen that should capture the eyesight of the security specialist to to know that this is an attempted cgi bin access to your system maybe the one configuring the rule is not the same one reading the output so he can read the text that says attempted CGI bin access and do not follow or complete reading the rest of the output which may look complicated for him so he can know the type of attack from just the message that has been displayed and act accordingly if required let's say some of the pros and cons of the NIDS of the network intrusion detection system one of the pros it is is that it is fairly easy to set up it does not need much effort to set up it does not affect the speed of the network or add load to the system it monitors this is very important and this is some of the networks are very sensitive to security appliances and security procedures that it leads the network to poor performance the needs most of the time is not the cons is sensors have limited speed sometimes sensors have limited speed so they miss the, some packets and miss some traffic uninvestigated almost impossible to detect attacks not in the rule set if there is no rule to detect the attacks then the ids will miss this attack and will pass this attack and will not generate an alert for this attack it is very susceptible to low and slow attacks whenever the attacker is slow whenever the attacker is patient the attack is more likely to succeed to bypass the firewall the ids the antivirus and other security and other def defense appliances nids in conclusion is an important part of a robust perimeter defense it should be applied whenever needed and it should be applied with the cost of it which is the high maintenance the 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 taking care of the uh, alerts being generated and knowing exactly what and how does it work and knowing exactly how to configure its rule set thank you